You're probably thinking, thank God my child made it. You're probably also thinking that when you get old, you're moving it. To the siblings, you're probably thinking, you're not getting your own room back. And to my graduates, my fellow graduates, you're probably thinking, thank God I don't have homework this weekend. And if I don't have homework, then what's next? Now, to all those conflicting thoughts, to the parents, don't worry, we will pay you back, but you might not be able to move in just yet. To the siblings, please fix up my room, because if you didn't know, the economy's kind of doing bad, and I might need a place to crash. And to my graduates, my fellow graduates, the sign of no homework means that we did it. We crossed through a threshold that 40% of people are never going to see we wrote, rewrote, produced, edited, photoshopped, and anchored right into the seats that we are now. And I don't care what anyone says, I'm pretty sure we kept Starbucks in business. <laughs> when I, I woke up this morning, amongst other things, I thought about my list. You know, that list that everyone has, but no one talks about. All the organizations that you wish you would have joined, or all the aid that you wish you could have gotten, or even the stories that you wish you could have finished. But then I looked at the top of my list. Guess what it said? Graduate. So then I realized we all get to check that off. And then I realized we all get to start a new list. A list of lessons that we can't wait to learn. A list of jobs we're finally ready to apply for. And a list of experiences we've been waiting for since we came through the columns. The fear of the unknown is ever present. Right? But now is the time for us. People always graduate with the intention of saving the world. But there's something about saying it right now in front of all of you that makes it sound so possible. We can do so much in the different places that we end up, and by God's grace, we'll get to make it to the finish line. To our professors who change our lives in ways they'll probably never understand. To the J Cafe for keeping us nourished right before broadcast two, right after cross cultural journalism. Yeah, that happened. And to you guys. We got to work together, cry together, laugh together. And for that, I am so grateful. I am so proud to say that I'm a Wizzy grad. I'm even more proud to say that I'm a J school grad. And I'm especially proud to say that I'm a Tiger. Congratulations to the class of 2012. God bless you. And remember, your list is still unwritten. Thank you.